before we start, I just wanted to apologize ahead of time. I didn't realize you can hear my belt fan. But I tried my best to fix it with the editing software. I'm going to start another installation. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the condenser. This is a horrible installation. I couldn't think of a more horrible job if I wanted to. We'll bring this all to code, of course. Here's my circuit breaker panel. We need to go up into this attic somehow. This is a garage. It's like a garage attic, so we need to get in there somehow. We're going to put the condenser around the corner in the back. There. And here's another. Condenser is going to go right there. Line set is going to go up and into the attic. That's the plan right now. Anyways, we'll see what happens. Hopefully nothing changes. Check this out. So this is what they were using for a return uh, filter grill. Just this piece of sheet metal with the collar, the duct. Um, nothing was sealed, nothing was secure, not even with screws, not even with tape, nothing at all. This is maybe a 10 inch return duct that they used. All right, everything disconnected. I actually can't even use that circuit because they ran that from a sub panel and the sub panel is being fed by a 60 amp uh, circuit with a 8 gauge wire and um, so it can't support has a bunch of circuits already there so it can't support that and then this because it's only 8 gauge so it has I don't know like like a dozen circuit breakers already there going to power outlets and lights and stuff I think it used to be the main panel I'm gonna have to run one from the main this is the panel that I'm actually gonna connect now see the sub panel it says 60 amp so it's not good enough. This one is 200. I got plenty of spots. I'll probably go from the top into there. I just got to look inside because it looks like they tried going into here and here and they were unsuccessful. So I got to see what's going on there. You. <laughs> I don't have to go in the attic. The panel, electrical panel is actually it's right here. And these are the two conduits probably that I, that I saw. So I'm going to look in this box, but uh, I think I'm just going to go through one of these. Yeah. All right, here we go. Time to disconnect all this. All right, everything's gone. Got the new furnace here. It's got the coil over there. Now, we're gonna start demoing most of this stuff. Let's get started. Just wanted to show you, like, quick, what I'm doing, which is I'm enlarging. Can you see that opening? Because I should have shown you that. See that opening? How, how sloppy it looks. Um, I'm enlarging it. And then, um, Put in the new can and I'm um, duct sealing everything and securing it. Did the same for those over there. To this one and uh, to that one over there. Let me go show you. That one right there. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. And I'll show you once they're all done and connected. Um, they're gonna keep this as an attic access. They're gonna put a metal door. All right, boys and girls. All of the cans are installed, they're all sealed. So now I gotta convert this return air opening. Actually, it was an attic access opening into a return air. It's gonna be 24 by 24. All right, so I'm gonna start connecting these ducts. And I'm gonna start by connecting these two eights. There's my TYs, and then there's a five, and then there's a seven over there. So. That's what's next. Hello, boys and girls. Okay, we have here the line set and the drain line. That line set, I'm gonna strap it up. It's gonna come across, and then I don't know if you can see right there where I put, that's the plenum, coil, furnace, return plenum. So the coil is gonna go about right here. So that's where this line set's going. And uh, I'm just gonna make sure that that drain line has pitch. It does have pitch going down. Just gonna make sure it has pitch over here. Um, yeah, it's coming along. And then already the primary drain, secondary drain. That's the power going to the condenser outside. Right now, I already strapped my line set up. The coil is gonna go right here. I already started putting these brackets, which I'm gonna put the alternate, that alternate through here. And uh, there's my unit strap. So that's what I'm in the process of doing right now, putting all the hardware that's going to hold the furnace up. 
I did run the electrical already for the furnace. There's the plug. There's the light. There's the light switch. I don't know if you heard all that. Light switch. Um, I'm not an electrician, so I can just I just know enough to be dangerous. Um, so after I finish putting all of this hardware, I'm going to mount the furnace, the coil, the plenums, and uh, so that's where we're at. Forgot to mention that I did install a transition between the furnace and the coil. Now, as you can see, I installed the supply and the return air plenum. All right, I already cut the hole for the vent pipe. Flashing is already installed on the roof. I'm about to connect the vent pipe and start connecting the ducts. Hey, now you can't see anything, can you? All right, so got my return connected i got my supply ducts connected here i looped the seven around well the other way so that it's not too noisy um and here's my return i ran an 18 inch i was gonna do a 20 because it's even more quiet but it's a three ton i think 18 inch is very very good I already installed a vent pipe. Um, I already installed the earthquake straps. I don't know if you can see. Turn my flashlight. See, there's one right there. There's over there, and then that one diagonal one. It's the diagonal one there too. Um, this time around, I use these mounts. I, I like them. I think I'm gonna continue to use those. So usually I put the uh, rubber mounts right here, but in this case I put them right here. Here's a quick look at this evaporator coil. It's the A2L type and this is the wiring. It's pretty simple. It's not that complicated. I just connected my pigtail. I'm going to put the little cover right now. Um, I already have all this wired. Here's my drain. I put a union there just to make it easier to clean it out. Um, I also have this, well, this is a, come off, to clean it from there too. Let's try not to jam it in too tight. Strapped everything nice and has good pitch. There's my return. The can is all insulated. It's all suspended, nice and neat right here. Um, I did put an oversized return plenum right there so that I can connect this 18 inch return duct easier. Otherwise the 14 inch could fit, but it would have to be to the bottom and then I would have to put an elbow and I just thought it would take up too much space down there. Um, everything is already earthquake strapped, seismic strapped. So right now my next step is going to be to run the gas. I'm going to run the gas to here. Track pipe is right there. So there's our sediment trap. I ended up putting a little strap on that vent pipe. Just to, just because that's kind of heavy, that ball valve for the PVC. Here's the copper. Rains. Pretty much everything is done here. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the outside. As usual, it's the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't know why I always finish at night, but. There she is. Now I thought I had enough light with my chest flashlight on and then the drop light, but apparently it was not good enough. But it's a note for the next video. <laughs>